everyone, it's Sarah with Lead Street Collective and today I'm gonna to be making my spicy ranch pretzels. These are perfect for game day, for a picnic, or just a regular old snack. These I'm gonna be making gluten-free. You can make yours fully gluten, whichever you choose. Come on, they're super easy, we'll do this together. Okay, so first you're gonna start with melting your coconut oil and your butter together. And to that, you're gonna be adding your um, your powdered ranch mix. Now, I make my own ranch seasoning mix. You can get it on my blog, leadstreetcollective.com, keyword ranch seasoning. Um, but you can use your own if you want, or if you want to use pre-made, like the stuff from the Valley, feel free to. Um, it's gonna taste a little bit differently, but mine is delicious. It is uh, gluten-free, it's dairy-free, it's Whole30 compliant, it's all of the above, and it's the best I've ever tasted. So. To my butter and my coconut oil, I'm gonna be adding my ranch seasoning. And this ranch seasoning is really what makes these pretzels. It's so good. Okay, so I got my ranch seasoning. I'm gonna do some Cajun seasoning too. This gives it just a little bit of spice. All right, Cajun seasoning going in. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, finely shredded Parmesan or Asiago, whatever you have that's a hard cheese that you can finely shred, put that into. All right, now we just got a little bit of salt. And the last ingredient is just a little bit of a kicker. Okay, I'm gonna be using Frank's. You use your hot sauce of choice. Some people like to use sriracha. I've heard it's very, very good in that, but I'm gonna be using this. Frank's is kind of my go-to. I feel like it's not super flavorful either way, but it's not offensive in its flavoring either. So this is kind of my go-to. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon in. I'm not gonna measure, maybe a little bit more. That's good. Mix this guy up and then we're gonna pour this on top of our pretzels and get them in the oven. Let me show you. Okay, so like I said, I'm doing gluten-free pretzels. So I like these guys, they're real crunchy. One thing I've noticed about gluten-free pretzels is they're kind of the one thing that like, they're almost better gluten-free version than regular. They're crispier, they're crunchier, and they're just good. So I'm using these guys into my bowl, and then I'm just gonna pour all of my seasoning and my oil and butter mixture over top and mix it up. All right, these guys are ready to go. They're gonna go in the oven, 220, pretty low temp. For 15 minutes, stir them around, 15 more minutes, done. Super easy. All right, they're out, they're done, they're delicious. Let me, let me show you this. Look at how much flavor is packed on just one little pretzel. These guys are awesome. And you know what they kind of remind me of? They kind of remind me of the ranch combos. When was the last time you had those? Anyway, these are out, they're delicious. For the full recipe and many, many more, jump over to my blog, leadstreetcollective.com, and we will see you later.